A lot of the reason that our community is so great is because everybody within the community is so excited about learning, our students and our faculty. I think that's really empowering. As an educator in particular, it means that I can come into my classroom space and know that we're all on the same team, excited to learn new things. And I think that is super duper fun. I was a student at MUD in the 90s, and one of the main reasons I loved my time then as a student is that I got such great mentoring from my professors. And that's the same thing I love now about being a Harvey Mudd professor. Our culture here is that when a professor's door is open, that means they're open to having students stop by, even unannounced. And I have had so many deep conversations with students over the years about everything ranging from your favorite anime to serious family issues that students are facing. And when I go home each day, mostly grateful for those one-on-one -on -one conversations with other community members. I think there are a lot of benefits, but really that student-faculty interaction is key. Faculty are here to work with the students, and we love working with the students. That's why we came here. We can really spend a lot of time working one-on-one -on -one with students, and we really want to use the most cutting-edge pedagogy that we can possibly use. And it's also really key for research. At Harvey Mudd, we don't have large research labs with graduate students and postdoctoral fellows. Instead, our focus is on undergraduate students and their success. Professors here also have active research labs, but the undergraduate students do most of the work as opposed to what happens in research labs at large doctorate degree granting institutions. So all of us as faculty in our research projects are designing them with undergraduates in mind, thinking what are the ways that they can contribute, that they can develop their own learning in the process and so on. And so I'm always learning new things every single time I come into my classroom. I feel like that's happening for me as much as it's happening for the students. I really love that. And I'm also laughing all the time. I think the students come in not just interested in learning things, but interested in sharing the things they're excited about with each other and with the instructors. This is a really cool place to be. So we had a big effort in engineering several years ago. We redesigned our engineering core course, and it was originally primarily a lecture-based course with some recitations on the side. And what we really wanted to do was improve on student learning and the student experience in the course, have students understand more what engineers really do. And we pulled from several different best practices in literature to create the new course that we're really excited about. It's in its, I believe we just finished our fourth year now of E79. So rather than only learning about frequency response and doing some theoretical calculations, students actually go and we have underwater robots. So they get to build an underwater robot, they get to take it in the lab, they get to see physically what happens. And there's just a lot of instructor-student interaction in the course. And so all of that has really increased and the learning has gone way up if we compare to the previous version of the course. And the student satisfaction with the course has also gone way up. Another thing I really love about MUD is that while we work really hard here, we don't take ourselves too seriously. There are a lot of fun traditions here, a lot of silliness that goes on. Leonard Fun Meals are one of those lovely traditions here. It's a pot of money that students use to take the professors out for a meal. It's a win-win for me because I love eating and I love hanging out with students. Also, I'm a pianist and over the years I've had the privilege of playing chamber music with a lot of really talented MUD students. So those are just some of the examples of different ways that faculty and students get to know each other really well here. The thing that I really love about small liberal arts colleges is the ability to interact with people in a community of shared experience who all have the same context. You have lots of different faculty who all know which courses you took to get to the point that you are at, who all are excited and have known you for some time potentially as you've worked through those different courses. In my teaching and learning practices, I like to be as transparent as possible about the fact that I'm someone who's still learning how to do the things that I do every day. That means trying to make mistakes in class, sometimes purposefully recreating mistakes that I've made outside of class so that students can see what that looks like. So maybe writing code with a bug in it particularly and then showing the debugging process that I use. I'm also really interested in finding ways to help create a more equitable and inclusive learning environment. For example, some students here went to really fancy high schools that had lots of enrichment activities. Other students are more like me. I worked hard, but my high school was, let's just say, not very academically rigorous. I'm figuring out how to create a classroom where students of all types achieve a high standard of learning in a supportive environment, and yet each person still gets to learn to their full ability and interest level. Probably the most consistent thing that's true about my teaching is that I'm always working to make it better. I'm continually experimenting to find ways to help students learn tricky concepts more efficiently or to make my classroom environment 
less stressful, more supportive, and more inclusive. I also care a lot about giving people a chance to collaborate with each other because I think that one of the greatest strengths of MUD is the students and I feel like that's something that everybody should be benefiting from the students from each other as much as from me. There's something really cool about having so many outstanding and excited students who are excited about helping each other in one place. In particular, one of the things that mutters absolutely love to do through a variety of different on-campus jobs is tutoring. They tutor each other, they tutor high school students through the homework hotline program, and because many of our students are tutors in some capacity or another, that means that they come into the classrooms and other spaces for teaching and learning already excited about helping each other and already fairly well educated about how to help each other in a way that's supportive and effective. I think that it means that students at Harvey Mudd College are extremely good at collaborating. And there are also more formal programs like Mutters Mentoring Mutters. And so there students can be mentored by faculty or staff or alumni. Um, and so there are a lot of opportunities for mentorship there. We also have a really helpful alumni network that faculty can often hook you up with. So I frequently will talk to some students who say, hey, I'm interested in this field. And I will remember a former student of mine that is now working in that field. And so I can connect them together and they can get some great advice and mentoring there as well. So I think it's the people and our traditions that help to create a close-knit community that's characterized by deep concern, and I might even say kind affection for one another. Just a few weeks ago at the start of spring break, many, though not all of our students, were suddenly faced with the task of having to pack up their dorm belongings and return home. It also happened to be a great rainy day, and yet there were students, professors, and staff out there in the dorms voluntarily helping students pack and move their things into source pods. That's just an example of the kind of warm-hearted approach that we take towards one another here at Harvey Mudd.